it's very important to me. I have two granddaughters. If either one of them needed serious medical attention, then I know where they can get excellent quality treatment. It starts with friends. There's nothing super formalized about it. If it's in your heart to do it, then just do it. Just give it a shot. I remember as a kid, it's like going to the hospital. It's like my family didn't have medical insurance. And it was one thing to get my needs taken care of, but it was another thing to worry about the bill. And parents shouldn't ever have to worry about their children like that. Well, I was doing my symphonies for a while and I was raising money at the symphonies and then donating the money to the hospital. And then uh, a mentor of mine, Phil Smart, he goes, I want you to meet some friends of mine at the foundation. My audience really consisted of fans of my band, high school friends, college friends, soccer team friends, brothers friends. <laughs> and then as I did each concert, they grew and grew. And then when I started the Guild, all of a sudden we were organized and all of a sudden we raised like 10 times the amount we had ever raised. What I've loved is just being surrounded by all sorts of great people with great ideas. I got a call from one of my Guild members right after a concert and she goes, have you ever thought about doing a symphony about like comic books? And I was like, holy crap, like Symphony of the Superhero. It turned into this great, probably the best symphony we've had to date. This is my grandmother's pie crust recipe. It's been working for, oh, a hundred years at least, so why change it now? You'll never find any two homemade pies that are exactly alike. Kind of like the kids at the hospital, they're all unique whether it be making a blanket or selling a pie or something very simple, and yet it's very rewarding. And that's probably the, the greatest reward for me. I don't think Bobby Flay would appreciate my knife skills. Over the years, we've had a variety of fundraisers, dessert nights, gift and food fair bazaar. We've been having an annual luncheon and silent auction and live auction. Where you go. With working, you don't have a lot of extra time to donate, but I thought at the time, this would be a great thing to keep on the back burner to have in my mind when I retired. dancing from 10 a.m. Saturday to 2 a.m. Sunday morning. If a kid has a medical condition for life, then we can dance for 16 hours straight. It's, a, it's as simple as that. Everybody's initial goal is to raise $100. It is a challenge, but you know, it's like once someone hears the cause and like what's going on, you know, it's a real thing. My sister actually, she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis about a year ago. The reason why she's well and running and going back to school and lacrosse and everything like that is because the love and support that Seattle Children's Hospital gave to us. Dance. Two days after my 14th birthday, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at Seattle Children's Hospital. I've been to probably upwards of eight to 10 different hospitals throughout my lifetime, and none of them even come close to comparing to Seattle Children's. With all the love and all the energy in there, you just have to remember that it's something so much bigger than yourself, and that the reason why you're doing this is not for you, but it's for the people who need it more than you need it. It's just heartbreaking to know what some of these kids are going through and it gives me great pleasure to know that in some very small way, I can contribute. If you have an idea and you have a vision and people understand why you're doing this, they'll get behind you.